Hi everyone. Welcome to Ponderosa Crafts. I'm Rebecca Stark and I'm here today just to do a little playing around. Um, I had a friend of mine ask me how I painted my tree trunks and so I told her I would just make a little video and show her how I did it. So let's get started. Okay, um, these are the little tree trunks that I'm going to paint. It came from um, Stamping Up, Gnomes for the Holiday. And so this is one that I've already painted. And so let me get started and show you what I do. Usually I always just start off with a gray. I've got three different grays here. I'll probably start with the lightest one first. I always start from the bottom and I just kind of just stroke it upwards a little bit. I don't really cover the whole thing. I find this easier for me to paint them. And here's one that's about a medium, a little bit darker, not too much darker. I like to get down here where the grass is and get that all taken care of before I start painting the grass. Okay. Let's see how this one is. This one's a little bit darker. I always try to make it a little bit darker down here. I feel that it helps pop the grass out when I go to paint that. And then some of the other little spots I might go a little bit darker. Like there's a little knot right here. I'm just going to go ahead and make that darker. I think I'll make this one a little bit darker too. There. Okay, I don't know if you guys can really see what I'm doing. I don't know if that helps or not. But you can see I've got some color in there. And then I'll just kind of go to my browns. I'll take some lighter browns. I'm using watercolor prism, watercolor pencils. I really like these. They're, they're creamy. I, and they're not... It's a softer lead than some some watercolor pencils are. The uh, the lead is really. I'm hoping I've got this into. Okay, good. I do. Just want to make sure I had it into view. And all I do is I just kind of stroke here and there with all the different colors. Because uh, a tree is not just one color. If you really look at it, you'll see gray. You'll see brown. You might even see oh, green in it, in the trunk, with a little bit of moss. Okay, let's see. Maybe I will get, I think I'll add a little bit, another red here. Or a brown, more of a reddish brown. I mean, you can't go wrong with whatever you choose, whatever colors you choose to use, because once you use your water brush, and again, I always go up, and I just use the tip of my water brush. I don't use the, I don't go flat on it. I just barely touch it with my water brush because I don't like a lot of water. And a lot of times I'll squeeze it out like that just so I have enough just to moisten it and blend it all, blend it all together. See, if you blend it all in, then you won't get the 
the gradation of color and it'll just end up being kind of muddy. So I just try to do it a little bit at a time with the water so I can keep my colors. Oops, I forgot a little spot right there. A lot of times, too, what you can do is just take your brush on your pen or your watercolor pencil, and you can add color that way. Okay, I think I want to go a little bit darker around the door. So let's see what color this is going to turn out. I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit. I have to go with a darker brown. Just so it stands out a little bit. Let's see, do I have a darker brown? I don't really want to go black. Let's see, is this black? Yeah, I think so. Well, maybe I'll just add a little bit. Just barely touch it because I don't want a, a lot of black. See, I usually wipe it off on my Kleenex or paper towel, whichever I have. Then probably what I'll do is go with a lighter color. Uh, let's see. I don't think I've used this brown. Nope. Okay, let's try this for the door. Okay, yeah. I don't want to go too dark. I personally try not to paint it solid. I'd like to leave some lighter colors or, you know, a little bit of light bouncing off. But it doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes I get carried away and try to blend it in and I make a big mess. I think I'll go back with some darker brown here. Just add a little bit of color right there. Something about watercolor, if you get it before it dries, you can pretty much take care of your little boo-boos that you might make. And don't be afraid to turn your work around. You know, when I first started painting, I thought I had to keep everything like this and just move my hand around, and I found it. I couldn't paint that way, and uh, but I'm not a professional painter either. I just have been self-taught and uh, trial and error mainly. Okay, and I think I will take a gray and color in my doorknob. It's kind of a brown gray, actually. Hmm. Let's put this gray and see. 
pretty much the same. Okay, so let's see. Let's get uh, let's get a light green here. Oh, maybe I'll just go this way. Just blend it in this way. There's that one. Uh, oh, what color is? Let's see what color this one is. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll just do this. Just blend it in. Oh, it's kind of like an olive green. I know these don't have the names on them. They just have the numbers, and it drives me crazy. Because I, I have to kind of hit and miss with what grains I want by looking at the color of the knob here. And sometimes those aren't true to color. So, whoops. Helps if I get the right end in. And then again, I just barely touch it with the tip of my brush and just try to get that blended in a little bit. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do is just, whoops, got a hair right there. Sorry, I'm not talking. I have a hard time talking and painting at the same time. Though I think I can chew gum and walk. I'm not for sure it's been a long time. I do have a tendency to run into things quite often. <laughs> My husband is always yelling, peripheral vision, look where you're going. I go, I am, I am. The tree just jumped out in front of me. Or a post or whatever I run into. Doesn't take much. Okay, let's see. I need, to, I'm going to do gray. I'll do gray. Which gray? Let's see which gray I want to go with. Let's see how this one is for my rocks. And I probably won't even touch those with any water because there's just not anything there to really move around. My gray does not seem to be really, really gray. It's kind of a um, brown to it. Okay, let's color up the light bulbs. Nope, I don't want that color. Here's a red. Color I'm up with. Okay. I don't know why. I always seem to start off with the red. I think I'll go darker on this one too. Okay. Okay. Go with, uh, well, I'll just go with the light green. Do 
I have everything in the way. <laughs> Okay, now let's get a blue. Oh, here's one. I don't know what color it is, but it looks like it looks like more, almost like lapis. Got a little bit of green in there. Ooh, that's pretty blue. Cobalt. Okay, there we go. That's how I paint my trees. And as you can tell, each one is always a little different. I have some on this side also, where I've just used different colors. So it doesn't really matter what color you use. Um, just get a nice variety in there so you have the gradation of dark and light. And it just makes it look a little bit more realistic than if it was painted in solid color. Okay, I hope this helps you, and like I said, thank you very much for uh, choosing my channel to watch, and I hope this helped anybody who was trying to figure out how to use colored pencils and to paint a tree truck. Have a good day. See you later. Bye.